Naomi here with my weekly weigh-in. I know my whole 30 was up on Tuesday and I told you I was going to upload this on Tuesday, but things happen. Um, all right. Let's just get to the very beginning of it so that we can get it out there and then discuss. I got on the scale. The day before, which would be the 30th day, I got on and I know I was, I really didn't want to weigh myself until the day after whole 31 um, because I wanted to give it the full 30. But I got it on there on the 30th day because I didn't want to stay up and think about it or worry about it. So I just did it the day before. And when I got on that day, I had gained three pounds. And I cried and I felt upset and I was cursing Melissa Hartwig out, and I was cursing out RX Vars and her stupid sponsors. Um, but then as I regrouped, I realized that, you know, it's not what... Let me paraphrase it best. Whole 30 kind of sells themselves in a way that says you can eat whatever you want. You don't have to count your calories as long as you're eating those things. And then you're a little mindful of your fruit. You can pretty much eat what you want on this plan. That's not true for everyone. I think if you have a larger number to lose, you can definitely eat as much as you want and probably still come out ahead. Uh, because I know so many people that have. However, I think if you're within that 20 pound rule of where you want to get in your weight, I think that you still have to be very mindful of your calories. You cannot just eat what you want as much as you want and think that you're not going to see a gain or not or see a loss, I should say. So I got back on the scale the, the next day, whole 31. And I did take off at least the three pounds, so that was good. I was glad to see that I was basically just even from what I had done. So I must have had some water weight. I think I did eat breakfast before I weighed myself, but um, but then I weighed myself. So funny is I, I now think that ladybugs are bad luck because I've had two times where ladybugs have shown up and both times have been terrible. So I saw three ladybugs out in the yard and I was like, oh, it must be good luck. I'm going to weigh myself today because I just want to have a good day. And I, ladybugs are not good luck if you see them. I don't believe not in my life. <laughs> I really thought they were. <coughs> Excuse me. So, so the weight loss didn't happen for me. Uh, am I still going to do it? Yes, I'm still going to keep doing it. I, I think I have either Stockholm Syndrome or I really am seeing results that I like because uh, I feel better. I feel like I have a lot more energy and I will say because Melissa's about tough love, uh, I am under an enormous amount of stress right now. Crazy amount of stress. No one should have this many things going on in their lives all at once. So yes, I have a ton of stress and the fact that I've been able to manage it, not break down, not, you know, freak out has been huge. And I, th I owe that to Whole30. I think that it really helps with those ups and downs and those feelings of stress and stuff. I think it really held me together for these last 30 days because normally it would be breakdown city with me. So I do tribute that to this meal plan because I know how I am when times get tough and when there's a lot of stress, I get very over, over dramatic, over the top, I can't handle it. And uh, I, I didn't find myself doing that this month. And I appreciate that. I've been sleeping well, which normally when I'm under a lot of stress, I do not sleep well at all. So I, I attribute, that, attribute that to this plan also. So yes, I'm now, I don't know, 30 some odd days into this. And I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna go to whole 60 um, and see where I'm at. And then I think maybe after whole 60, then I'll start slowly introducing some foods and and move to paleo. Um, 
but then count calories more. But I, I definitely will be counting calories this time around, even though that's something that you're not supposed to. The thing that kind of was a little bit nerve wracking to me is normally, I don't know about you, but if I'm going to buy a book, usually it's because I've already started something and I'm like, well, I'm gonna buy this book so I can continue on with what I'm doing. And their website said a lot of things. I gave you the list of things that you should eat, but it kind of didn't really say about amounts of food you should eat. And I did start reading the book. I'm still not done with the book um, because I've got a lot of things going on. So I'm at page, well, I'm past it now, page 188 of the book, which is about two thirds of the way of her book. It finally gets into meal size and how your food should fit, like I said, in the palm of your hand, which I know this, that's a diet, I'm sorry. But if you have to monitor how much you eat of something, that is a diet. I don't care what you wanna call it, Miss Melissa, but it is a diet. And that's okay, but just admit it's a diet. So yes, you do need to keep your meat to a palm size your palm, not your husband's palm, not your cousin's palm, but your palm. So I am starting to do that. I'm making sure that I'm keeping my food in my palm, which is what I've done with Weight Watchers, Nutrisystem, uh, Dukin with, well, no, not with Dukin actually. Dukin I eat a lot more, but with every diet I've ever done. So it's a diet. I'm sorry, Melissa, it's a diet. You want some tough love, you want to give it, take it. So. Yes, you do have to watch your portion sizes if you in fact want to lose weight on Whole30. If you're doing it for all of the other reasons, then have at it. You'll probably just come out even like me or maybe possibly gain a few pounds. But I do want to say portion is important if you don't want to get a weight gain from it. So I already went over all the good effects that I've had. I will say that I broke out a couple more times since our last video, so my skin is not getting better, and I don't know what it is. I'm not eating any nuts, I'm not eating any G, uh, I just don't know. I'm not really cooking with any oils, I'm using my air fryer. I don't know what it is that's breaking me out, other than possibly stress, which isn't fair to put on whole 30s shoulders if that is in fact what is causing it. But uh, I'm still breaking out. I have one up here that's kind of hidden with the lights, but there's a doozy up here. And then um, I got a couple like on my cheeks, which I don't, both of these areas I don't ever break out. I'm used to breaking out around my, my mouth and that's hormone related. This is allergy type things uh, typically in your cheeks. And then I don't even know what's up with the head one. I thought that would be more like dairy or something, but I'm not having any dairy, nothing like that. So I don't know what's causing it. And I haven't changed makeups or anything like that. So I don't know, I give up. But overall it looks, my skin looks pretty good. It looks healthy. I just wish the acne would stop. And the one thing that I will say is I do have really dry skin and my skin is not as dry. It seems to be holding moisture a lot better. So it could be that my skin's wondering what the heck I'm doing because it's used to being so you know dehydrated basically all the time. So maybe that has something to do with it and it just takes time with, like with anything, for your skin to realize, oh, this is a permanent thing that we're doing now. So that could be it. But I, I'm curious if anyone else is still breaking out after doing Whole30. Um, what else? That's pretty much it, I think. But um, yeah, that was, it was a little, I'm not gonna lie and say that I wasn't really bummed out to not see a weight loss. It's it's not easy doing Whole30. Is it too hard? No. But it definitely is not easy. I didn't wake up going, oh, I can't wait to make three meals today. No. I don't want to make three meals, especially right now I don't want to make three meals. I've got a ton of stuff going on and I don't want to make three meals, but I did it. I did it for 30 days and I'm still going. But it's not the easiest thing. Um, what else? 
Anything else? Not much. I was, <laughs> I actually was having such a bad day that I was planning on having a cheat day and then going back. But I said, you know what, that's not really fair to anyone. If I cheat myself, number one, I don't want to go through the withdrawals again. Number two, um, because of the stress and stuff like that, I don't think it's fair to find out what exactly is triggering things. Meaning if when you end Whole30, you're supposed to introduce foods back into your diet. And because of where I'm at in my life and stress and stuff like that, I don't think it would be fair to introduce something to find out if I really have a reaction or not to it because I have so many other things. My stomach just hurts because I'm stressed. So I don't want to blame a stomach pain on having some brown rice or something like that when it may just be in fact my stress. So. I'm going to continue forward. I'm hoping my stresses will be done after this 30 days. Wish me luck on that part. Um, but yeah, that's where I'm at. So I'm not like going to sugarcoat this one. It's not like the perfect video. But um, I will say I feel good. I haven't had to use my inhaler. I haven't had to use... In I I've taken myself off of a lot of medications that I was taking. And I'm not using them anymore. I feel good. I feel like I have a lot more energy. I feel that I'm sleeping a lot better and I'm waking up early without an alarm or anything like that. Um, what else? Just, just good, 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 good stuff that I don't really want to give up yet. So regardless of weight gain or weight loss, if I stay the same for this next 30 days, that's probably good because I probably would balloon up if I got off of it because I would eat my stress and I don't want to do that either. So anyway, that's where I'm at. That's my video this week. I know it's not the most positive story to tell you guys. I really wanted to come on here and go, I lost 10 pounds. It's amazing. I didn't. And they say you're supposed to do this for blah, 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 blah. You're supposed to do it for your health and stuff. I did it for weight loss too. And you're lying if you are saying that you're not, unless you're a twig. I'm sorry. I don't believe you. You're doing it for some weight loss too. Um, I'm just going to be honest. I think you're lying. But um, anyway, that's where I'm at. I hope if you're doing this whole 30, you're doing well. Stay on track. Honestly, if you just break even... At the end of the day, I think it's you'll find that it's worth it just of how you feel. That's just what I think. Um, I don't know. If I, if I don't lose weight after the 60 days, I might go vegan. Like, I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to go vegan. I'm actually thinking going full vegan and just to see where that gets me. I know. I'm, I would never call myself a vegan ever. Um, I do like meat, but I, I like fruits and vegetables more, and if it meant that I had to give up meat so that I can have more fruit, I would do it. I would. I would. Anyway, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, and until next time, bye guys. <laughs>